Meow. Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm coming at you uh, with a very impromptu, a very last minute kind of video because I just kind of wanted to just get this one done. Uh, I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw the Big Chief Studios Gold Supreme Dalek and I've been following the progress of this thing since uh, they put out the poll asking what people wanted uh, to see from them and because Big Chief have a pretty good reputation uh, the likenesses aren't the greatest but the quality of the quality of the figures is really damn good maybe not quite to the Hot Toys level but it's pretty pretty damn good the Eccleston was pretty crap but we just don't talk about that uh, so I was really excited to see what they do with the Dalek because I thought, well, they pride themselves on accuracy, um, which you, me, I'm a nerd, I'm a stickler for detail, I love that kind of stuff. And we got the images today, well, we got some early images a couple of weeks ago, um, but now we've got some more in-depth, detailed images of it. I am very disappointed. I know, it sounds like me just moaning again, but... I'm really annoyed because I just wanted it to be absolutely amazing um, but unfortunately it just doesn't hit the mark which is a real shame uh, a lot of a lot of it is really good we'll just get into it the head and the eye stalk look great um, the correct proportions for the eye stalk which is quite difficult uh, to get right but they've done a really good job on that. But it's the headlights. The headlights aren't ribbed for some reason. Maybe they will be on the final thing, but uh, they don't look ribbed, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, the next section, I get what they were going for. Um, and they've actually used real mesh. And you can actually see into it, which is what the props would have been like. But the mesh just isn't fine enough, so it just doesn't work. Uh, it just looks like the dial has got massive gaps in it. And uh, behind, it's got like the three stick thing for the neck which is accurate to the classic props that looks wrong but they did look like that um but the uh, support beams behind it are just way too visible and just don't look good and it just makes the the struts just look really thick uh the neck rings are way too thick as well um the midsection looks really damn good um the mesh looks really good on uh, the midsection as well and they've got the silver joint for the uh, plunger arm, which looks really good. You can see, like, I think it might be 3D print lines on the oval, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, I guess it is what it is. The gun looks really good as well. Uh, the rivets they look, they look pretty good. Look, maybe look a little bit too prominent for my liking, but they at least they've actually got rivets, whereas the character options ones don't. Uh, so the actual, the midsection itself is pretty much perfect. And then you move on to the skirt, like the proportions of the skirt itself are, are decent, but then you look at the hemis and they just look too flat. They just don't look right. They're not supposed to be completely half spherical like the character options ones are. I only just learned this recently from someone who commented. Um, but they're not this flat, which it just doesn't look right. Uh, the base looks really good though, the two tier base. And the, the reason I'm disappointed is because the majority of it looks really good. It's scary. But they've just... We just shortchanged on the hemispheres in the next section. It's such a shame. And I was, I was really wanting to buy this as well because I'm a massive Dalek fan. And I think I'm just going to pass and try and make my own custom 1-6 scale one at some point. Which is a real shame because I really did want to buy it. But um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Are you going to buy it? Maybe when we get it, they'll have made some alterations, but I doubt it. It looks too far in the process for that to happen. Arr. Such a shame. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.